Hello and welcome back to my channel and the mess that we have. We have a lot going on today. We have so many cards, so many cards. Um, I just finished filming my mail clip, um, but I'm so excited about doing this. So we're gonna just go into it. We actually have Ailey cards, but as normal, we just have Eyes One, Purple Kiss, and ATs. My three groups at this point, I three is the perfect number for me. I don't think I will be collecting anybody else and I'm not gonna add anybody else for 2024. I thought about adding, keeping Luna and adding ZB1, but I decided that just for 2024, I'm not adding any more groups. Um, maybe at the new year, we'll see, we'll revisit this topic. But for now, we are collecting these three groups and well, and Ailey and Sungwa and Gugadon, but you know, those three don't get added to that often, um, except for we do have some Ailey in this video, but. Yeah, so without further ado, we are completing my Purple Kiss photo card collection today. So we are finishing my entire perky um, album card collection today and I'm so freaking excited. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna start with Ailey because she has the least. And then I think we'll do Purple Kiss because I'm the most excited about Purple Kiss, I think, but I'm excited about everybody. I don't know. We're just gonna go in order. I just wanna, I don't know. We're just gonna do, yeah, we'll do Purple Kiss next just because I just I just really wanna do Purple Kiss. And then we'll do ATs and Eyes One, depending on how I feel. But let's start with Ailey because she only has these two little cards. So this is my Soloist binder, which I'm thinking about adding a Soloist to this binder. But again, no, we're not adding anybody for this year, for the rest of the year. Um, I also don't have a ton of sleeves because with the recent hurricane, I haven't gone out to the card store to buy the sleeves like I normally do. Oops. So we have no sleeves. So this video might have to end when I run out of sleeves, but we will see. We, we will cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. So first things first, we're just going to rearrange these and have them running in just chronological order. So we have butterfly which I'm still missing three cards for. We have Loving, which I have both of the two for. And then we have my one um, Amy album card, which I think there's three for this too. And then for Ratata, there are three, four, five cards. So these were the, my original two pulls. And I think I'm actually gonna put this one here. I'm gonna put this one here and then my new pull will go here because it matches this one this one will just go on the back for now i can't believe i actually have a nine pocket page of eight leaf photo cards what the heck um we went to atlanta to go to the aquarium and we stopped by the k-pop store i bought mom her christmas present at the k-pop store and i decided to shoot my slot and i bought another ratata album to hopefully pull cards i didn't have and i did i think yeah so i officially just need one ratata card to be done with ratata and then i could have two albums done for Ailey. crazy um no sungwoon still but when i finish my poker market album i will have sungwoon cards just not yet um but before the end of the year okay Purple Kiss. Like I said, we're just gonna do Purple Kiss next because I'm most excited about Purple Kiss. I think we're good. Okay, so Purple Kiss. We honestly have a lot going on. <laughs> we have a lot of cards. And nothing is organized because why would it? Because I was just too impatient and I just wanted to start this. Okay, did a quick reshuffle and I'm pretty sure I have everything correct. Um, also, this was made for me a while ago by Dreamers Den also, but I finally put it in here. I've been wanting to get a frame for it, but I just haven't had the time to do that. But we will be completing my album card collection today. So we have the last ones we needed for this page. Oh my God. It's a tremendous day. Parky announced their comeback, and I finished my OT6, OT7, 
album card collection before said comeback. I I'm so excited. I'm hoping that means this era I can just like focus on trying to complete everything OT. I'm not worried about completing all of Swan's things this era, but everything I want OT I hope I can do relatively easy and during the era. But there we go! So that is my complete Into Violet album card collection. She's gorgeous. She is beautiful. She is the moment. And to make things even better, we have Cheyenne's full set to add to the pop page. So we have this Cheyenne, this Cheyenne, and this Cheyenne. I'm pretty sure I matched these right. So again, I'm just missing one Chan pop. For it. It's crazy how Chan and Gohun were the two that I was like struggling with the longest for album cards, but they're now the ones that I'm most complete for everything for. Like I just need one pop for them to finish their pop collection for Into Violet, whereas everybody else I still need like all of their cards. Except for Doji. I only need three cards for Doji. I have her. Ironically, I have hers that I don't have for the other two. But progress is progress and there we go and then nothing for hide and seek because hide and seek album cards were already done and we don't have any new pops but for did i not move that pop set up here i thought i was collecting that pop set full group okay apparently i didn't move that pop set up here to collect full group for but I think we're gonna go ahead and just do it right now. And I think we're gonna put it here in the middle. So hold on, let's flip to the back of the binder real quick. Because I know I have a lot of the girls for this set and I don't think I wasn't gonna going to originally and then I just kind of acquired them. So I think I just was like, freak it, let's do it. Let's go for it. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, see, I have the Doshi, I have the Ire, and I say I have a lot of the girls, but I think I just have half of them, so. Cause I don't, yeah, I don't have Yuki, I don't have Chan, and I don't think I have Swans, no. Okay, so, but still, I have half of them, so might as well collect the set. Yeah, and so we're gonna just pop it right here. So Ire's will go here, Doshi's will go here. And then we have Golens. And we have all of Uniline. I think it's funny when that happens. Like I didn't plan for this, but I somehow managed to collect the oldest three first. But there we go, we've started a Memem set. So at this point we have at least one like pop set started, I think, for each of the eras. And now to finish the Geeky Land freaking album card or Digipack cards. Oh no, I lied. This one's in Neokyo at the Neokyo warehouse. I forgot. Cries. Okay, we'll have to finish it next time. I'm so sad. I thought we were finishing it all today. I forgot that that one's at the Neokyo warehouse because I bought it with the discount. <sighs> well then, well then. That's so upsetting. That's so upsetting. I lied to y'all. We'll finish it next time. <laughs> Cries. But we will be finishing this set, which is exciting. And I, and it's not like I don't have the URA. It's coming. She's just <sighs> somewhere else. And then we have the last Chan that is the bane of every Chan collector and OT collector's existence. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we're getting there. Like I said, like, look, all the photo books are done. Ignore this ERA that's at Neokyo. I forgot. I'm so upset about that. And then we have these. We were so close, guys. We were so close. And then we have one card for Cabin Fever. This card's finally coming, y'all. This card's on its way. Can you believe it? I paid more for her than I was really hoping to. But, like, honestly, beggars cannot be choosers. And I just wanted to finish all my OT Cabin Fever stuff. And... Boom, we had to put this back in, so that's finished again. Okay, so here's where we get to do some more stuff. 
and here's where I don't know what I was doing anymore. Um, so I set this up to be like done in a particular way. But like what that way was, I don't remember. So we're just gonna take these out. Those are pops anyway. This is... So I think what I'm gonna do, why won't this come off? So we're gonna leave those two cards, those two pops over there for the time being right yeah and essentially what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna just take the four album cards we're gonna do it like this we're gonna do it like this no we'll do it like that so that way and then we'll kind of do like a blue and flower tone page on this side and then like a pinkish page on this side with the other pop but that way all the album cards are together and the palms that I have on the other side don't really fit the vibe so far so we're not gonna put any move those to this side um, but this pop that I have does in fact pass the vibe check because it's literally the same as this one so we will put her up here but the other pop that I have for 20 does not pass the vibe check, but it does match the vibes of this card. So we will just put it right here. And I'll put more fillers in later. And that's just how we're gonna do 20 for now. Um, I might move 20 out and put it in the swan section at some point, but for now I kind of like having her there and working on her there. Um, and I think I'll do the same with Bells Up once I get some like later once I decided to like move Elza up for Yuki because she was in the back because I didn't have a lot of Elza up Yuki and now I do have a lot of Elza up Yuki you'll see in a second um but we have her KCON cards so we can add these here I wasn't expecting to have progress on this page quite yet but I am excited about it none the least and it looks really cute oh my god I love my purple cast binder listen just these but i think i have if i remember correctly is doshi's whole set coming in and then i just need these two that was just recently sent off the package that will have those in it and then i've got one season's greeting set oh my god this freaking season's greeting set so she goes there and she goes here finally freaking finally done with this <gasps> she's so cute so officially I am, oh wait, no, I'm not done with all the Purple Kisses Seasons greetings. I still need this Doshi set and I need the winter set. Oh, that winter set is going to be the bane of my existence. But, but we're basically almost done for, we have the two most recent Seasons greetings completed and I'm very excited about that. And then we have the RBW Con or Summerfest. Um, summer festival, whatever, card set that goes here at the bottom. And it looks so good. My Perky Binder is amazing. Oh wait, I won't be completing this set because I still need the Doshi. And I do have the Go One, but she is on my purse. But yeah, we'll put away Go One next time. She's on my purse. I don't feel like going and getting her, but just know I do have her. And then, we have, oh, these are the Festa trading cards. I don't have any of those, but we do have some more of the Polaroids. We have, I think, oh yeah, we have two from my favorite set. We have a Yuki and we have a Doshi. I love that this says the Ocean Pola and I completely just did these in a different order than what I wrote. So we're just gonna um, <laughs> remove that and then we have some more of the ocean ones so we have Ire, Gowen, and Cheyens so we have so we the ones that we did have for this set we don't have for the other set and the ones that yeah so that's fun <laughs> does that make sense that didn't make any sense what I was trying to say we still don't have any at all for um this third set for the polo like the party outfits one 
Um, but we are making good progress on the Polaroids. I think I just want to see how much OT stuff I can actually finish by the end of the year at this point since now i finished all of their album cards but yeah so exciting so good love them so much and i don't have anything else coming from merch um i only bought swans like chosok like thanksgiving cards but i'm thinking about getting this set and putting it down here because i think that might look cute not here because the rbw cafe really needs to go here Right here though i got i confused myself because i think that might look nice right here but moving on we have the extra section so we have one gian hide and seek card that we need to sneak into here okay so i don't have any cards of her in this outfit already and i kind of think it would look cute right here so i think we're gonna move this card oops forgot these are the double sentence these so we're gonna move this card and we're gonna put her right there. And then we're just gonna shift everything over by one. Again. Okay, so we're officially done shifting everything for Gian. So here is the update to the Gian section. So we added this card, and so everything was shifted over by one. Still have this extra sheet in here because at some point she will eventually need to be. I'm also thinking of maybe making unit pages because it feels bad for this to be on Gowen's page but not on Gian's page. But yeah, so. We have actually a good bit of Go One because I got some extra Go Ones um, pops from Rachel, which three of them are Mem Mem, or two of them from Rachel were Mem Mem, and this one's Festa. Yeah, Festa. And then so now we went from having no Mem Mem <laughs> cards, um, pop extra cards for Go One to having three. So we're gonna have to shift everything. We're gonna have a complete page of extra cards for Go One. That's exciting. So I think we'll do this one in the middle. The Mem Mem cards feel, like they feel super skinny. Maybe not, maybe it's just me. They just feel really long and skinny. And then we will put Cabin Fever, or Geeky Land. And then this one is Cabin Fever. And then I think do I want this festival one or this festival one here? I think we'll do this festival one. I don't know. She feels like she fits the vibe more. And then we'll put the other festa on the back. And then we have some more doshi. So we have, is this mem mem? Yeah. So we have a mem mem and a hide and seek. So everything needs to be shifted over for <laughs> doshi too. So actually, I think we'll just leave a space for doshi. Because some spaces not that i'm supposed to be getting extra cards but if i get one more card i can have an extra card for every era for doshi 2 almost um except for bxx well i guess that's true for go into i don't have a B extra bxx cards for them i don't have a lot of bxx cards in general then we have cabin or yeah geeky land geeky land oh wait i don't have cabin fever for doshi either and then we have Festa, so we'll just put the Festa ones back like we had them. Again, not that I'm supposed to be collecting extra cards, but just in case, just in case if I ever accidentally end up with one one day. I do really like these two Doshi cards though. I think this one came from Rachel too, and then this one's just really cute. And so there is the Doshi extra page. And then for Ire, we have a Mem Mem and more Geeky Land. Can you tell that I really like Irei's Geeky Land cards? I love Irei Geeky Land. <laughs> I also love Irei in this Mem Mem outfit. It's one of my favorites. Oh, oh, 
I messed up. We have more Yere cards. Oops. That's right. We have my favorite Yere pop to ever exist. Hold on. We got to take all these cards out. So all these are geeky land. But we have Heart Into Violet card. This one's so cute. This is my favorite Yere pop. Honestly, like I love this card so much. I'm so happy I own it. I kind of want to make her like her own like special like little top loader and place on my bookshelf. So we might do that. I might do that one in. This one is from Hide and Seek era. And then we have this one from them then. And then like I said, we have all of these geeky lands. So we'll do the princess concept first and then we'll put both of the schoolgirl ones together and specifically with the hollow one in the middle. So there we go. There's the Ire page newly expanded and then the exciting thing is going to be this yuki page because we have so many of her elves of cards so many just so exciting let's match the albums so i think what i planned what i want to do is we're gonna do like this and then we'll do this album this unit card here this one here Kind of like that. I think that's cute. It works, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I plan on collecting all of Yuki's Elves Up cards at some point, just very slow. Since I finished all of the album cards for like full group perky, I was trying to decide who I wanted to work on next. And I ended up finishing Swan, but I want to work on Swan's Pops a little bit more. Um, and I was able to trade for like a lot of these Yuki cards, so I'm not as worried about her album cards either for Elzup, especially since it's not looking good for Elzup to have a comeback, so yeah. I don't, I don't really know what Mnet is doing. Does anybody know what Mnet is doing? No. And I know the only, I'm pretty sure the only album card I'm missing for Yuki from Elzup is her PLV or Plev, whatever you want to call them, version, and I know that people have been collecting that since like that got released and still don't have it so I don't have high hopes of getting that anytime soon. Okay and then we have Chan section next. For Chan we have two into violet cards and we have a zombie. This is a zombie so it needs to go up here and then we have this Kiki Land card. These were just some extra Chans that I picked up. I think we'll do eyes one for today after um, Perky and then I will save ATs for the next video because my back is kind of hurting since I've sat here and filmed two videos. So hope you guys don't mind that. So in October there might be like three sorting videos. Hope that's, hope everybody likes sorting videos. Okay, so for Swan, we have quite a bit of things to add today. We have two more BXX pubs and then we have her into Violet or Dear Violet Japanese cards, which these came out around this time. And I'm pretty sure the showcase would have had to been after. So I'm gonna put the, these here. And then, so everything needs to be shifted down too. Yeah, these cards barely, they're so long, they barely fit in the dragon shield. Like if they were an inch longer, they would not fit in here. Not even an inch, like a millimeter longer. If they were an inch, it would definitely not fit. But there is Swans. And like I said in my mail video, I'm pretty sure I'm missing two more for debut. Um, I have one of her like Japanese comeback cards coming in. So slowly working on Swans Japanese. Um, and yeah, I think I'm pretty I'm pretty content with just collecting Swan for Japanese. I'm not feeling the urge to collect full group for Japanese. Um, maybe that will change one day. Maybe I'll pick it up, but for now, I don't feel the need to. This last Vesta card and then BXX. So Swan is getting big too. She's officially on the back. And I want to do this card last because it was the Taipei card. And it is officially the last card of BXX era, in my opinion since we have the announcement and the Chosuk, Chosuk card is like a holiday special event kind of card. So I'm not as worried about that one. And there we go. 
There's the little expansion to the salon section. We're not gonna do the bigger inclusions today. That's gonna be a part of the perky like revamp series that I'm working on. Yeah, 2025, we're doing a binder maintenance like series the entire year. We're gonna go ham on my perky collection. Specifically perky is the one that I want. Like I have all these ideals for and like these these like aesthetic visions in my brain because I just really want my binders to like really as pretty as they possibly can be, honestly. Now we're gonna move into eyes one. Okay, and just like with purple kiss, give me a second to organize these cards and then we'll go from there. This was in the wrong binder, or got put in the wrong pile. Okay, so piles have been sorted. We are gonna start in the OT12 binder. Make sure you can see everything. I can't believe we forgot about that Chayun in the wrong pile. I'm not going back to that binder. We can put it up in the next video. Some further organization. I should have done that first, but at least you. Okay. So, first and foremost, we have the Umbi for this page. I'm so excited about that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to finally be like working on like getting closer to colorize being complete i think nako shouldn't be too difficult and chayun shouldn't be too difficult i honestly don't know why i don't have chayuns yet and heiwan shouldn't be yunjin is probably the most difficult out of the ones i still need to collect the kino cards are just they are what they are <laughs> um I don't remember how these are supposed to go in here. So we have this Yana, which should go here, which ironically competes, completes this little row for me. And then we have the Heiwan, who I'm pretty sure needs to go here. Wait, I put Yana in the wrong place. Haha, <laughs> we did not complete that row. Or column, I guess, but it's okay. Yana goes there. Hey, Juan goes here. There we go. That's the first one for that set, which is pretty exciting. And then we have a Sakura to go here. <laughs> Suddenly don't know what Aid Order is in Ives 1. And then we have the Bloom Eyes cards, which I have a lot of Bloom Eyes cards. So give me a second to figure this out because I don't remember what order I have them in. Which, okay, so since we're in the eyes one section, I guess it's a good time to let everybody know, even though we've already talked about it, um, I'm so excited for Hitomi's group's debut. I'm really loving their concept so far. I'm loving the, like, magical cat girls. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It's a vibe. I think it's fun. Um, and I feel like sometimes we forget to have fun in K-pop lately, personally. They all seem to be kind of doing heart signs on this page, so we'll put this Umbi here, and we'll just put Shay on here, <laughs> just cause. Um, yeah, so we have like their concept. It is, I think Rachel said it a little weird that like Hitomi is so much older than the other girls, but I think Hitomi will make a good leader for them. I'm I'm looking forward to it because I feel like Hitomi would not have joined this group or this company without like some major reasons to because i feel like she was pretty happy and content doing her akb 48 thing um so i feel like they had to pretty pretty incentivize her um so i'm excited i'm also loving that the album details you get full like there's five sets to collect but you get the full sets in an album so like if you buy five versions of the album you are, like so every album you buy you're guaranteed to get the member set but there's a full OT6 member set there we go but there are five different OT6 sets to collect it kind of reminds me of how new jeans does it from what I've gathered from people that collect new jeans so I think that's pretty cool I think that should be a new Norman K-pop 
personal opinion. Um, I kind of want to pre-order two copies, one to keep in my collection, obviously, and one to make a collage with. So I don't know if what I want to do in terms of collecting wise, like part of me wants to collect OT6 just because it's so freaking easy. And part of me is just like, no, you should just stick with Hitomi because you don't really like, like Hitomi is my bias as of this point because I don't really have any other attachments to anybody else. And I just, I freaking love Hitomi. Japan Line was all my bias wrecker for a long time in Eyes 1. So like any of the like Japan Line girls are just like my favorite. I love them so much. Um, and so I'm just really excited. I'm just so excited to be able to like collect Hitomi and have her in my collection again. Yeah, not a, no. I was, in fact, not right. Yeah. Yes, okay, it was the other set. I had it backwards. Right album, wrong set. Let's see, we'll put Umbi here. Let's see what else has happened recently in Eyes One Land. Oh, we've had, Yana had her comeback with Nema Nema. I think it's fun. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. It's not my favorite Yana title track. I really like, oh, what's the third B-side? I Still Love You or I'm, I Love You or something like that. That song is really nice. It's really sweet. I really like that song. Um, like I mentioned in my mail haul video, we've just had a lot of like Eyes One interactions lately, which has been really fun. I don't know where Miss Yuri is. Like, Yuri, come back, something, anything, everything, please, please. I miss you so, so much. And then we have Umbi, which I'm pretty sure she goes with this, which we'll put her over here. So we have some progress, finally. I feel like it's been so long since we put away Eyes One things, which is why I was like, we're gonna put away Eyes One and Purple Kiss and then take a break, because. Um, so that's all for Bloom Eyes, and now we have Wonder Diary, which will be fun because we have a good bit of things for th <laughs> this AR set is pretty close to being done too. I wonder what my first OT12 set is going to be. I've never, I know I've picked up Eyes 1 full group, like, tw this is like my third time doing it now, but I've never ever completed an OT12 set. So like, please, please. I just can't wait to know what my first OT12 set is gonna be. I love them so much. I miss them. I miss them a lot. I'm so excited that we they still get to interact and like do things together. I feel like sometimes like companies try to like make it seem like they were never friends or like never did these other things even though these other things are like how they have a lot of their fan base it just it doesn't make sense to me i will never ever ever understand the things that companies do um this umbi i'm not quite sure where she goes i know this is the 3d is this also a 3d or is this a fantasy but we'll start with these first things first we have some more um diary cards for some reason i thought i had the chan diary card but i guess i do not heiwan shouldn't be too difficult to get sakura and the game boy is going to probably be the bane of my existence along with carousel one young yunjin and the sunflower and chaewon and the goldfish um but i'm thinking chaeyun heiwan and Nako should be relatively easy. Oh, that's right, they're in the member color cards. So that's member color backs for this era. So that's not gonna help me. Let me see, where's my template? Oh, I finally listened to Umbi and Huey's song. It was pretty good. Um, it's not my favorite song ever, but I enjoyed it. It does bring back like Troublemaker and like that era of K-pop vibes, which I'm totally down for. Oh, they're both 3D version. Okay, I knew the purple dress was the 3D version, but I wasn't sure about the other one. Um, which, so everything I have left is for the 3D, because these AR cards are for the 3D. So we have this cutie little Nako. Who, okay, so if you don't know this about me, I'm a huge, I'm a Disney adult, okay? And the most like not weird toxic way of that word, I feel like a lot of people have like ne negative connotations of Disney people, like Disney adults, and like, Yes, there are some people that are like, would fight toddlers at Disney, but like, not like that, okay? I just really like Disney. I have my problems with it. I can criticize it a lot too. Anyway, but I'm a Disney person. Nako went, 
she posted on her Instagram the other day like pictures from the new fantasy land park at Disney Tokyo by the sea and I'm so jealous <laughs> oh I want to go so bad it looks so fun the new like park has like frozen and tangled and Peter Pan but I don't care about Peter Pan but frozen and tangled attractions and I love tangled is my like one of my all-time favorite Disney movies like ever ever I love tangled I love Rapunzel so much I'm so jealous and Nako posted a lot from like the Rapunzel section and I was just like girl Nako <laughs> um I was like I want to go too we can go together Nako invite me next time please <laughs> okay and then we have well actually first things first we have one more for this set which is the pre-order yeah so I'm only missing two I'm missing Sakura and Wanyang for this which of course I'm missing Sakura and Wanyang for what should be like the easiest thing in the world to collect for is one but we're getting there we are getting there okay now we're gonna work on one reeler like the actual photo cards and I think most of it is AR cards, so let's see what we can finish. If we can finish, oh wait, we have two Umbi of, of Umbi they are. We do have a Sakura and a Nako. Nako. Nika, nika, nika. How much fun would it be to be friends with Nako and go hang out at Disney Fantasyland with Nako? I think it would be so much fun. That is my hyper, hyper fantasy right now. <laughs> I saw this thing the other day that was like that I was talking about like there are two different types of fans there are fans that like when they think of their idols they think about them like romantically and then there are fans that think about their idols like more as friends and I'm the second like I'm the like when I really love an idol I think of them kind of like as my bestie for the most part like I I don't want to date them I don't want to like get married to them or anything like that like I just like like eyes one I just want to hang out I just want to be friends like can we just chill I think you guys would be so much fun to like have a girls night powwow like fun times like chill times fun vibes you get what I'm saying yeah <laughs> um these are the scene two cards so these would be the scene two ARs we again have Nako and we have Nina same with Perky, like I just wanna, like could you imagine a girl's trip with Perky? Like after seeing all the footage and like the things that they do on tour, like I think a girl's night with Perky would be so much fun. Like they just look like they have a ball. Like they just look like they have a good time and have fun together. AT is a little different. Like I still, I don't think of them romantically. AT's is very inspirational to me. Um, but I also think it would be such a vibe like I would please please you know please take me on your next like Instagram like photo taking adventures like I will go please I volunteer a tribute I volunteer a tribute please god I would literally spontaneously combust I'm just wow you know please 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 um, I think we're gonna change up the eyes one like post section or like extra section eventually. I think I'm gonna do it like I do with all my other collections and do it as like extra cards for specific like member pages. But that would be 12 and I don't feel like doing it right now. And I don't have that many. So actually maybe we won't cause that would be 12 pages and I don't have that many extra stuff for people. But we do have some extra um, things. So we are gonna put these in here and we're just gonna put them at the end. We're not gonna do do any shifting or chronological order for this just to make my life a little bit easier I am really really excited about having her secret diary stuff I am obsessed with secret diary I haven't really thought about like what I want to collect OT12 beyond album cards right now because like honestly finishing eyes one album card still feels like a pipe dream to me because I take it so slowly but I know the Japanese trading cards would be the like high on my priority list to finish because I think they're so fun and I love Eyes One's Japanese music and I still felt salty that we didn't get like actual technical like we got the bromides which I think came in the albums if I remember correctly but we didn't get like actual album cards it was only the trading card sets for the Japanese comebacks but yeah but we have an entire page of front and back of a 12 pocket page of extra eyes one cards just so exciting and that is the end of the ot12 binder for now 
or like, well, for this sorting video. That's what I mean by now. Um, we're also running out of daylight, so definitely will be the last because it gets darker later. And I think we're actually going to get a storm again today because we obviously didn't have enough rain and storming with the hurricane. Hi, the last time you guys saw this, I think this binder kind of looked, it had these holes, but there are more holes because my psycho son tried to jump on top of the bookshelf and then missed, threw his legs out, knocked down the curtain rod, it went crashing to the ground, um, knocked stuff off my desk because the desk is right underneath it. He went crash, and then he had, well, not, he went crashing to the ground eventually, but not quite yet. He was like, his claws were in this binder. He was like holding on to this, like a rock climber for dear life, trying to get himself back up before ultimately not being able to do it and crashing to his doom. Oh my God, I forgot two cards. I'm doing awful with putting cards up today. Okay, we will sell these also for the next video because I don't wanna go back to that binder. We still have two more Eyes One binders to do. We have this one and we have the post size one binder to do. So we have enough stuff to to work on right now. We have so much Yuri to put away. So actually the first thing, yes, the first thing we have goes right here. We have her school looks. Um, so in my Yuri binder, I have set up basic, at least for Eyes One era, for basically everything that I know exists. Um, there are a couple things that I haven't set up for because I'm not quite sure like how many or what exactly there are or if there are any, but for the most part for Yuri Eyes One Era, I have everything set up for in chronological, chrono, chronological, chrono, in order as best as I could. Um, some things might be a little off, but I did the best that I could order. Um, but we have a lot of her like earlier era stuff early into Eyes One's career, which is exciting. Oh, I can't believe we put that in. And this card that I've accidentally gotten so many times, or the actual one that's supposed to be here, because I've gotten this one so many times thinking it was actually that one. When the, cause I mean, can you see? So this one's like zoomed in slightly more than this one. Like this one's further out and it has her signature, but like, if you're not looking at the template specifically, you might forget. And I kept forgetting, okay? <laughs> so we have that. So this page is looking pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see, what do I need to put away next? I don't remember. I know one of them. I think this one. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Is the first Japan first fan meeting. And these are going to go... These are the wrong ones. Those are the duplicate ones. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I was supposed to say, wait, these are both 24. Um, but these are just going to go in numeric order. So I'm going to leave space because I think 17, 18, and then I think 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 21, 22. Wait, no, I'm off a little bit. Okay, so it must be 18... Nine, oops, 19. I should have put the numbers. That would have helped me because I set this up a little while ago. I thought about doing the Yuri binder on camera, but I had to watch Rachel's video where she like explains how to set up as one in order while I was doing it. I should have asked her if she still has the Word document that she uses and if I could borrow it, <laughs> but I did not. 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25. That sounds right. That should be right, right? It's so much fun. Look how orange and pretty everything is because she has her member color. The next thing I have is actually bonus Abbas, which I don't know what the other numbers for these are that I'm missing for Yuri are. So we're just gonna stick 18 here. We'll do 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That sounds about, yeah, that should be right, hopefully. We have a vampire. We don't have any duplicate I am cards for her to put away. Let's see, eyes on me the movie. We do have her lenticular. And like I said, here are her um, 
diary cards. Secret diary cards, yeah. Um, okay, wait, no. Um, but I do have one of her one art diary hand sign cards. We have this one. It's, um, I think we're going to put it right here. And we'll just move over the sticky note because then these two can be beside each other. We're going to have like a row of her in like this outfit for the most part because the other one, one of the other ones will be this card or like this image without the border. So it will literally be this outfit again and then the jig. <laughs> okay, and then nothing for here. Eyes on me blue ray, eyes on me blue. I put this in the wrong place. This is not where this goes. So I realize I'm missing a card. <gasps> I'm missing one of my Yuri cards. What the hell? No, because I do have the movie card. I have her balloon card. I got it in that hole. What did I do with it? We're going to keep moving. We're going to finish this. I'm going to look through some stuff in a second because this is actually the Izomi. Is it the Blu ray or the DVD? I think it's actually the DVD. No, it's the Blu ray. It's the Blu ray. And then this is the other, it's the one at theater. No, it's the one at theater Kino, I'm pretty sure. And I forgot to do these. These are eyes on me. Oh, they go right here. I literally skipped past it without realizing 20. Okay, so I must have just stuck this in here because that's 20. This will be 19. Well, 18, 19, 20, I already have 20, so 20, 21, 22, 23, sure, we'll move them later. So that's all for the Yuri specific binder today, that is what her section's looking like. It's looking pretty good, I would say, let's do a little flip through of the eyes one era stuff and then this is when her um so you see the eyes one era stuff stops up here after or right here after that and i did a little bit of glassy and then i think that's when i gave up i was like yeah no more yeah, because I was like, I don't feel like figuring out like the debut, like where the merch stuff goes in in between other than the debut showcase because that was like the easiest thing to figure out off the top of my head. Okay, so that is all for the Yuri binder. And again, depending on how this goes for Yuri, we'll determine whether I do something similar for Swan and I think Yosong. And then last but not least is the Post Eyes One binder. She's not the prettiest binder you've ever seen, but we're working on her. She will be cuter. This, like I said, next year will be the year of making everything cute. So I went back to this setup where there's just like a page for each of the members. As I get more cards, I will expand it out. So once I get three cards, we will make a like full section for those albums. So for example, we have all these open cards. So open will get its own page today and we will go through. In theory, I should shift everything up too. So let's take out all these open cards. We'll stick them over here. And then we have two color cards. So the next time I get a color card, it will need to go on its own page, have its own page. Oh, I think pistachio woke up. And then lethality and flash will go down here. And I'm so excited about this card. It's so pretty. It's so hollow. It'll be so pretty. <laughs> I love eyes one. Well, I'll actually do this card first because this one's actually an album card. And then we'll do the pot at the end. And then we're getting low on pages too. We're just running out of everything. But it's because there's three people in this house that collect like photo cards. It's like, I collect photo cards. Ooh, these are the old, old pages that I hate don't like at all i don't even i didn't even realize we still had some of these i'm so sorry umbi you're gonna have to get these bad pages until i buy some new pages and like i said i think i'm gonna do okay the other ones that do the prism platinum pages i think those would be really nice to get 
Okay, so I think, what color back is this one? This one's one of the red backs. So we'll do all the blue ones at the top because I feel like I have all of them. Because I think there were six of these, so there should be three of each. We'll do this one in the middle because it doesn't really match. And then we'll do this one here and this one here. These three at the bottom for now because that's where the other red one will go when I eventually get it, hopefully. And when when Say My Name debuts, they will go in the post size one binder for full group. So I just basically what I did is Yuri has her own binder because Yuri. And then all the other post eyes one members, I split it up, split them into two binders based off of like how they redebuted. So like this is my post eyes one soloist binder. So this is where all of Ubi lives, Yenna lives. And Yenna is the same way. So Smiley is the only one that I have enough to make enough cards for. So here's Smiley. And then smart, oh, and smartphone too, but there were four, so here's smartphone. And then we have love war, hate XX, good morning will go here. And then Nemo Nemo will go here. And then we have Tian, who I had enough to make basically a full page for everything, but move street and don't. And then I put Minju in here too, since I still have some of my Minju cards, but Minju and Heiwan won't be a super high priority. And so yeah, so that's what this binder will be for. And then I've and La Seraphim have their own binder, but my La Seraphim's collection is going to be like at a snail's pace because we are boycotting, or I am boycotting um, Hive. So I don't know when I will buy La Seraphim again because boycotting, but hopefully maybe somebody will trade with me at some point. But I'm done filming now. I'm tired of filming. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't feel like I talked that much. I just really want to put my cards away. So yeah. Bye!